I'm recording. Can't hear you. Can't hear you. Oh my God! What there it is. Heard that? Yeah, there it is. And go. You should be able to hear me now. Yes, we can hear yes. you. I don't know why it's not working. I unplugged, I replugged, I restarted. Yes, no. Yeah. Okay, good. Yes. <laughs> it's Are time to buy a new microphone. <laughs> uh, that'll be on my agenda for the week. Okie dokie. Plant nice and wide. Are you going to mute us? Arms reach so out. And up. Little bend in the knees, arms cross, and then they reach back up, and then they cross, and they reach back up. Yes, ma'am. They cross, and they reach back up. Keep going. I'm going to. Remember that part? Yes. Okay, no. And they reach and they come down <laughs> and they reach. And then just right arm only. Right arm comes to the left knee and opens up. That's one. Oh, I got a cat. That's two. <laughs> That's three. Getting in a little squat action. Four. Five. <laughs> Pet the cat. Six. Seven. Eight, nice and deliberate. Nine and ten. Hold that arm up. Other arm. Pet the cat. One and two and three, four, five, six, like big bear claws. Seven, but not the kind you eat. Eight, nine. And 10, both arms one more time. Big arms, stretch that pelvis forward, reach the fingertips back, and hands to hips, inside, side to side. Oh, I'm gonna step on a furry little beast this morning if she stays there. <laughs> All right, warming up the outsides of the hips. Take a big deep breath. Fill yourself with all the goodness that is available in your domicile. Yeah, yeah. All right. So now start taking these steps up at an angle. Slide forward and back. Forward and back. Now I'm going right foot forward. We're going to switch to the other foot. If you started on the left, stay on the left. Just sliding. Making sure that body is doing exactly what you're asking it to do. We got three, two, one, and other side, slide, pull, slide. Now I'm dragging my toe. That way I get that inner, si inner thigh, inner thigh. Huh. Maybe my inner, inner inners are sighing. This is, this is quite possible. <laughs> I'm a little rusty. Two more, one more, and then side to side. Let's get those arms moving. Pinky side is high, pinky side. If you're ready to speed it up, speed it up. Ah, those collarbones stay high. Those shoulder blades stay close together in the back. There we go. That way we're not leaning forward we're lifted. We want to lift out of that thoracic spine. There you go. And then single arms. Bring that other hand back into that belly space, into that, ah, that sacral chakra, fire burning space. There you go. Pinky set. Don't you attack me, you little rat. <laughs> She's eye spying my toes. There you go. Now bring those arms up through center. 
pat the opposite shoulder. There you go. Make sure those fingertips are falling exactly on that opposite shoulder where you want them. Keep it moving. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Lots of movement. And then up and overhead. There we go. We get our, our 1970s throwback dance move. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Listen, furry. You and I are going to go round and round. I'm going to throw you outside with the foxes. <laughs> there you go. Three, three, two, two, one, and one. March it out. Oh, she vacated. <laughs> She took me seriously. <laughs> I don't think anybody takes me seriously ever. All right, big knees, big arms, as big as you can. Right here, one minute big march. Now, if you wanna join me with an out, out, in, in, then go forth, do good. But if that's just gonna throw off your, your high cardio, movement and your chi, then don't do it. There you go. You could speed it up. You could speed it up, speed it up, but that's gonna slow those movements of the hips down. It's just gonna give you that reactivity. But that big muscle movement here in the core and in those quads, that's so as muscle. It's really going to get you sucking that oxygen in and get that heart pumping, moving all the goo through the system. Oh, yeah, five seconds. And heels. There we go. So you may want to pick up a light to medium set of weights. I wouldn't suggest anything over about five pounds, especially if you've got shoulder issues. I'm gonna grab up my little sand weights. <sighs> We're gonna do a little gut work. Gonna get in there. We're gonna sit down into those quads and those hamstrings. All right. Once you've got your weights in hand, plant those feet out wide. Toes point forward. Drop down just a little bit. Bring the weights back by the hips and start swinging. So we got that, that little hi-ho, hi-ho movement going on. There we go. Now sit down into those thighs a little more, shorten the arm movement, and really start to chug. Go, 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 go. There we go. If you can, sit down into those legs a little more. Yes! So this is really gonna ramp up the heart rate. It's going to get those biceps engaged. <sighs> Lots of breath. Five, four, three, two, one. Side to side. <sighs> Take those arms. Move them up at 90 degrees. And while you shuffle from side to side, drop them straight out and back in. Out and in. Now, be mindful of the face. <laughs> We're not all using sand weights. If you had a stretchy band system set up in your house, you could use this to pull, pull. There we go. Keep going. We've got that 90 degrees. Keep those upper arms parallel to the floor as long as you're not experiencing pain. Yes. There we go. Keep it up and then bring them down and in. Two more times, get down in those legs. Assume skier position, and then start the slow chug. <sighs> Tell you, the cat, she was, she was really good yesterday. She's off into mischief mode. On your mark, get set, drop down and speed it up. <sighs> She's working on pulling over one of the light towers right now. <laughs> Sassy little minx, as they say over in Europe. She's 
managed to pull a piece of it off, but not the whole thing. <laughs> go, 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 go. <laughs> yes, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it up, step side to side. <laughs> you just can't make these things up. Arms up, 90 degrees, out and in. There we go. So we've got that holding space in that upper chest and in those shoulders. And then we've got that little piece of bicep work with a little bitty movement. It's just gonna keep that heart rate a little higher than sloth pace for most of us. I think I hit sloth pace on vacation. All right, third set, pause. Bring it down and in. Now, if the knees are sore, just stand upright and do the arms. Take it down and in, start the swing. Don't mean a thing if you ain't got that swing. Do up, do up, do up. Hey, sassy. On your mark, get set, drop and speed it up. Go, 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 go. Oh yeah. Mama should have turned on the air conditioning in here before I started. Woo! I got a little full of myself this morning. Well, I don't know that I was full of myself. I was kind of stumbling around trying to figure things out. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo. Nicely played. See, I think she's just waiting for me to fall over and die. And then she'll bounce on me. <laughs> Arms up, 90 degrees, last set, push and pull. Now, option for this one, singles. Oh yeah, straight up Debbie Reynolds right here. Woo, put on your sweatband and your scrunchy socks. That's what I'm talking about. So you're gonna get that extra bit of movement. Whew. Keep it firing. Yes. Check in while you do this. If you're getting short of breath, slow it down. Change the movement just to regular bicep curls. Five, four, three, two, and one. Superhero hips. Just that toe comes across, lean it back. Think about all the beautiful things that we have to think about in life. Breathe around it all. Oh yeah. All right. We're gonna go back into that little ski position. So bring those arms around. This is our last thing before we have water break. If you need water break, you guys know what to do. Just ignore me and go do what you gotta do. We're gonna bring the feet close together, little tiny. Pull everything in nice and tight. All right, so we're here. Experiment. See if you can stay low and bring those knees up and in. If you need to come high and do big ones, come high and do big ones. But if you need to get in here and get into this core, then let's go, march, march, march. And for the first 10 or so, it's not gonna seem so bad. And it just, you know, just happen away. Just have a little conversation about life and the world and chakras and all the good things. And then you'll notice my face. <laughs> and then, it starts to burn a little. And we try, you, hey, hey, she just bit me. <laughs> keep going, keep going. Oh yeah, five more seconds. Three, two, wow. <laughs> and water break. <laughs> Get, Mom, she bit me <laughs> twice. What? What? Ooh. 
That's why. Oh, you so bad. Who is the coolest cat? You are the coolest cat. Why did you bite me? Woo! All right. She's not normally like that. I mean, she's normally kind of sassy. I can count the number of times she's bitten me in four years. She's still angry we left. All That's right. what I was going to say. She's back, angry at you. Come back with what you consider a heavy weight in your hand or heavy weights. I'm going to grab my heavies. Carolyn? Oh. Carolyn? All right. Carolyn? We should have a nice sweat going on. I've got my 15s. Uh, I, want to, hey, I want to talk to you. <laughs> By some people's standards, 15s, not much. By some people's standards, 15s, too much. Decide what your standard is for the day. Plant those feet. Shoulder blades roll up and back. Fingertips and palms roll forward. A little bend in the knees. Big breath in and out. And then just standard double bicep curl. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Beautiful. Hammer grip then. Thumb side comes forward. We're going to do right and left. Single it out. Plant those feet and bend the knees as much as you need to. <sighs> this is going to be a long hour and a half. I'm going to have to throw her <laughs> out in the backyard. Here we go. Right arm. Hammer curl. That means the end of the bell comes up. Left. Right. Left. Number five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We're going to do the other ten in just a second. Hunker down, elbows high, double tricep. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, five. Four, three, two, and one. Roll it up. Ah, step it for just a moment. Let the muscles recover a little. We've got 10 more hammer grips. And then a couple more triceps. All right. Plant the feet. Collarbones high. Shoulder blades together, belly button draws in. Left and right this time, hammer grip. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Squat it down just a little. We're gonna do single triceps this time. There we go. All right, right arm back for five. One, two, three, four, five. Left arm, pull it up, send it back. Five, four, three, two, one, right arm again. Here we go, Armageddon, right arm again. That's what I'm talking about. One, two, three, four, five, left arm again. One, two, three, four, last one. Beautiful. Roll it up and in. Put those down. Woo! All right. Heart rate's going to go back up side to side. Oh, you can keep this nice and slow. You can keep it nice and tall. 
protect the body spaces that need protecting, or you can speed it up, move down and in. You can hop, you can cross fit it, whatever makes you happy. Ah, oh, just get it moving. There you go, get it moving. Trying to keep those arms parallel to the floor. So those shoulders get a nice upward squeeze. Yes. Ah. Make sure you're not exceeding your breath capacity. You want to be able to have that air come and go. Three, two, one. There we go. Beautiful. All right, I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna put my right foot forward, my left foot back. You could pick up a small pair of hand weights for this if you wanted to. Not necessary. We're gonna plant that right foot, plant the left, reach for the sky, elbow to knee. If you need to be here, be here. Ready, go, one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, and one. Balance, elbows, knees, and hold. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stretch it, and other side. Ah, oh, just a little forward and back. Right leg is back, left leg is forward. Stepping and sliding. All right, power move. Whatever that means to you. Plant, reach if you're gonna reach. Here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven. Squeeze in the middle, six, five, four, three, two, one, balance, bring it up and in. Ooh, I'm gonna struggle with you today. Oh yeah. <laughs> Ooh, five, four, three, two, one, stretch it back. And to the center we go. Toes out, drop into the legs. If PT says no good with knees turned out, walk them in, turn them forward. Drop down into those hips, whatever you've chosen. Arms slice out. Ah, <sighs> Balance. If you can, choose one heel or the other or both. Ah. <sighs> So heart rate should be high. It should interfere with your balance just a little. It's a gorgeous process. Fighting the body. Isn't that fun? Three, two, one. Heels down, lift up, toes, heels, toes, heels, toes. Big breath. Grab up what you consider one heavy weight. Ah. Couple choices, either back into those singles or take it overhead. All right, so I'm gonna come close. I'm gonna get close to you. If you wanna assume the squat, assume the squat. If you don't, then don't. Press up Now don't hit yourself in the back of the neck. There we go. Number two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, and one. Now just stretch it and hold it. Drop into those legs in whatever fashion makes you happy, and then give me a pulse. One, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Up and over. Drop it down, easy breezy. 
Nicely done. Whew. Breath work. <sighs> okay. You've got to wait hand to hand. If you want to use a kettlebell, use a kettlebell. You want to use my bad cat, you can use my bad cat. I will loan her to you. <laughs> She's a special being today. All right. Back into hips and legs, unless it won't work. The thing is, if I stay straight and I reach forward, I can torque right here in the center of the back between the, th the lumbar and the thoracic, or I can aggravate spondylosis thesis down here. So we're going to drop down, really engage the back so that when we reach, we've got belly involved. We've got all those erector spinae holding nice and tight. If you're going to stand straight, maybe cut your weight in half. Ready? Serve it up. Press it forward. Bring it back. Press it forward. Bring it back. Three, four, five. Come on, engage. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it into center. Step it. Right hand takes the weight. Left hand pulls the mic string out of my face. There we go. All right, left fingertips up behind the ears. Plant those feet. Full body today. We're gonna get that whole waistline, all four quadrants. Drop out to the right. Lift, one, two, three, four, five, Five, four, three, two, and one. Switch hands. Beautiful. Fingertips. Left side. One, two, three, four. Five, five, four, three, two, and one. Wonderful. All right. Back into that back we go. So when we serve forward, it is really grabbing onto the rear side of this core. We're serving and pulling. Sure, the arms and the shoulders are involved. We're strong, we got that. Make sure you maintain engagement here, all right? Whatever it means for you to squat, that's what it means, press forward. One, two, belly button draws in. Three, four, five, five, four, Three, two, serve up that last one, bring it in. Find the left hand, right fingertips, into the side we go. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, Three, two, and one. Nice. Other side. Fingertips up. Toes forward. Drop it in. One, two, three, four, five, five. Four, three, good job. Two, and one. You guys look amazing. Put that weight down. Grab yourself some water. <sighs> oh, my little thing falling in. Nice. Woo. My poor body's going, wait, wait, wait. 
you were just at 8,000 feet. <laughs> wait, 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 you're back at sea level. What are you doing? <laughs> ah, tell you, sea level. You know, I have all these Rocky Mountain High dreams. Went out. It's very dry. There's no humidity. <laughs> the air is about half, maybe a quarter, I'm convinced. <laughs> and then we decided to go hiking and biking. And I'm riding along in the bike. <laughs> and I don't, I don't struggle with biking at sea level. I was dying. I was dying. I looked at Bill and I was like, you know, I am so much more of a badass in my head at sea level. <laughs> I mean, it kicked my butt. Ah, alas, give me a couple more weeks out there. I'd have looked like a potato chip. I mean, I got to the point where I bought a hat that was like this big and I would hide in its shadow. <laughs> I would get sunburned just thinking about it. I was like, oh God. <laughs> All right, hands go forward, feet go a little wide. We're just gonna take those hands into the knees, nice and fast, okay? We've got a 30 second run at it on your mark. Get set, go, pat those knees, pat, pat. Let those arms sweep back up each time. You wanna to try to get those hands somewhere around shoulder level each time. There we go, there we go, there we go. Oh, sea level, how I love thee. Three, two, one. Arms wide. Kick out behind. We're gonna reach for the opposite heel. Yep. I'm gonna start counting 30 seconds in three, two, one. Try to touch the heel. See if it will go where you're telling it to go. And then if it will, and you wanna speed it up. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know how coordinated I am today. We got 15 more seconds. Uh-huh, nice attention. Good attention to detail. <sighs> Five, four, three, two, one. Squeeze box, bring it in and out. Working through shoulder. <sighs> Lots of movement, lubricating those joints. Excellent, five, or not five, 10 more seconds. Just squeezing, squeezing, squeezing. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, grab up a light or medium set of weights if you have them. If you don't, there's no judgment. I don't expect anybody to run out and buy weights. Well, <laughs> it's a little hard to run out and buy weights right now. Anybody go try to go and do that? go into one of the big sporting goods stores and you notice there's nothing left. <laughs> so they look expensive online when you go to buy them. They're pretty much sold by the pound. The shipping, woo, can be a little disastrous. If you want them in a couple of days, the shipping can cost you a ton. If you're willing to wait for two weeks, usually they'll ship them to you for like three or $4 and then they just go freight, which is awesome. All right, so we're gonna take those toes, we're gonna point them out again. Ah, slide down and in, do what's best for your hips and knees. We've got light to mediums, they're gonna come down in front of those inner thighs. And then we're gonna lift the elbows up, engage the low back. We don't wanna sit in here like this because that's gonna exacerbate what we're trying to fix. Well, not fix, fix is, fix is a funny word, isn't it? We're trying to, Strengthen. All right, elbows come up. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, and one. 
drop them down. Right arm only, 10 more. Pull it up and in. Try not to turn into it. This is just for that scapular region, trying to pull those shoulders back from center. Here we go. One, two, stay in those legs. Three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Right over to the left. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Five. Nice correction. Four, three, two, and one. Straighten those legs. Turn them in. Step them a little closer, side to side. If you want to put a ball in between the knees to keep more stability in that center line of the body, throw a ball in there. We're going to drop it down and back. Engage that mid-back. Drop down in front of those thighs. We're going to pull up again, heading a little more to the midline of that shoulder blade region. Here we go. One two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, give it a breath. Hold in those legs. Left arm only, pull it up and back. One, two, Three, four, five, five, four, three, two, last one. Don't come bite me again. Hi. <laughs> Here we go, right side. One, two, three, four. Five, nice modifications. Five, four, three, two, and one. Roll them up and back. Roll them up and back. Roll them up and back. Ah, and put them down if you want to. Grab another swig of water, and then we're gonna kind of change. Presto changeo. We're gonna go into our ab work. If you wanna do this seated on the floor, go ahead and pull your yoga mat out. That way you've got that readily available to you. And if you wanna pull your chair out, you've got that readily available to you. But we'll kind of roll right from this portion into the next portion. <sighs> We're going to get our abs in. <sighs> Woo. Came home and tackled the jungle, the Wookiee. <laughs> Things had grown over so much in two weeks. It was crazy. All right. My goodness. I look like I've been in a shower. I'm so sweaty. Okay. So you're either on the floor or you're in a chair. We're going to get that ab work, pump it in there. Ah, all right. Scoot to the edge of the chair if you're in a chair. Have a seat right on your tailbone. Really sit those sits bones in if you're gonna be on the floor. Oh, we should snuggle the cat. Should we snuggle her and Oh, she's coming to help me. Y'all, I'm a little afraid. <laughs> I now, I finally arrived in life. I have a tail. <laughs> All right. All right on the edge of your seat. Fingertips up behind. If you're on the floor, plant those feet. Lift the collarbones. Lean back and then little pulses. Lift, 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 lift. There you go. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, right elbow slides forward, lift again. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, 
three, two, one. Left elbow, slide it up. One, two, <laughs> three, four, five, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it straight up. Take a breath. Beautiful. All right, legs go wide. If you're on the floor, plant those feet, lift up out of that tailbone. We're gonna bring those elbows up in and again, and we're gonna bring the elbow to the knee. So squeeze it in and lift, really deliberate. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one on this side, 10, squeeze it down and in there, opposite side, one, oh, get that squeeze, two, three, four, five, Five, four, three, two, and one. For those on the floor, keep your hands right behind your head. Lean back, lift up that right leg, and then we've got pulses. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, other side, one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, and one, bring it all in, have a breath, beautiful, all right, right ankle, left leg, all right, furry, you have to move back a little or you're going to push me on the floor. She says, I don't care. You left me for two weeks. I'm going to do whatever I want. <laughs> Arms forward. So those of you on the floor, this is a figure four balance. We're going to lean back. We're going to lift into the chair. So we're just hovering. Oh, just holding. <sighs> we have 10 more seconds right here. You want the toe on the floor, leave the toe on the floor. Five, four, three, two, one, ten pulses. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, big breath. One more side. Cross in the best way that your body crosses, or not. Not all bodies cross like this. That's just reality of it. Lift. Oh, and let's talk about hummingbirds. Anybody else put up hummingbird feeders this year? My mother sent me one. I begrudgingly put it up. Oh my God. Hummingbirds are the most fascinating thing. I saw one take a bead on a cardinal and then go poke it in the butt. <laughs> oh God, I'm sitting on her tail. 10 pulses, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, <laughs> three, two, and one. Oh my goodness, put it down. Find a comfortable seat. Poor cat, she'd gotten her tail up underneath me. <laughs> Take a breath. <sighs> All right, check in with the body. Start at the toes. Hi toes, how you doing this morning? And then move up into the ankles. And to the calves and the knees. Evaluate hamstrings and thighs, maybe IT bands if you're runners. 
Breathe into the hips. Bring that attention into the belly. Notice if there's joy and fear. Any frustration. Move into the back. Sometimes we can hold one in the front, one in the back. Next breath takes you up into the chest. Breathe a couple of times. Use that pranayama work, the breath of life. Prana, universal energy. And that expansion and the contraction. Check shoulders, check biceps, elbows, forearms, and hands. The next breath brings all the awareness up into the head. Moving it through the throat into the third eye. And then really root the feet down. If the feet aren't on the floor and you're sitting flat, root the backs of the legs and the base of the pelvis down. And then use the press down to stretch up through the spine. We've just done weightlifting work, which is going to tighten everything up. It's going to pull everything in. So then we want to fight the gravity and elongate again. Fingertips sweep up behind the head. Third eye doesn't just project out of the front, it projects out of the back too. So touch the back of the head gingerly, ever so lightly. And then tip the collarbones up, lean the head into the fingertips. Little arch in the back if the back is willing. And then elbows slide together. Elbows and knees come together, rolling down and in. Really collapsing in on the self. And then open back up again. If you want to spread the arms really wide and pull the shoulders together, and get out those bear claws and Use the breath to really press that sternum forward you can, but if it's better to have the hands on the head, or, then have the hands on the head. And then tuck back down and in. Folding in. Next time the body draws up, let the fingertips touch the back of the head. Left hand comes down to the outside of the knee. Turn that elbow back toward the back wall. Find that spinal twist. Igniting the prana. So we built it, we built it, we built it. We marched, we moved, we lifted, we heaved, we sighed. And then we settled in. Drop that right arm either to the side of the chair or over the back of the chair or touching the floor behind you if you're seated. Reach that left arm up and back and gain as much length out of the belly and the left side as you can. When we come forward, that left hand or that forearm lands on the legs, right arm reaches up and away. So if you're on the floor, you could reach that left arm in and through and really turn the key if you wanted to. Next breath draws those fingertips up behind the ears. Breathe in. Right arm down, grab the outside of that leg, turn the elbow toward the wall behind you. Inhaling. 
Release that left arm to the side or the back. Continue that twist. Ah, release that right arm, reach up and back. Find the length in the belly. Fill it with breath, expanding that energy. And then cartwheel it forward, however that means to you. Either really turn the key and set it in or just slightly lean forward, protecting the back. And then bring the hands into the belly as you sit up. Let body parts settle. Breath flows. And then bring into mind the image of that little grumpy cat that's been with us the whole time. Oh, I see why she's very grumpy. I'm going to close the screen so she can't get out. Somebody is out the front door hunting. <laughs> There's a beautiful red fox right at the front door. <laughs> ah, but grumpy cat, why? She's biting me, why? We feed her, we love her, we protect her. You know, we pet her, we brush her. Why would she be biting me? Hmm. When was the last time any of us behaved like that too? Why were we biting? Why were we scratching? We were clawing. Bring that breath in. <sighs> Hands come out to the side of the chair or they touch down on the floor. Scoot to the edge of the chair or just plant those sits bones. Bring the legs up, upward facing boat. Legs straight, legs bent. If you feel comfortable releasing the chair, or releasing the floor, stretch up. Now, the one, <clears throat> the one thing we know about yoga is that it pushes us physically through emotional processes. What do you get into? What do I ask you to do that makes you want to scratch and claw and gar? And what do you get into that you really want to expand into? It's just a process of mimicking life. Breathe in, breathe out, release, come back down, cross right leg over left. Grab on to the shin. If you're on the floor, left leg is straight, right foot sits on the floor or right in front of the tush. Lift up and in. And just hold here for a moment, nice and tall through the torso. Belly drawn into the thigh, thighs squeezing together, breathing it in, and our arms float out. Right arm, right leg is crossed over, so right arm is going to go underneath. If you're just going to touch backs of hands, touch backs of hands. If you can complete the com complete the complete arm movement, bring that in and then slide down and in. Touch knee to elbow. For some folks, pressing in and down and holding this way, being held, can cause the scratching and the clawing and the biting. For some, the challenge is liberating. Breathe in. Breathe out, lift the elbows, find the balance point, start to pull those knees up toward elbows. And if you think, I'm not doing this in this lifetime, then don't. Oh, I see a little hazel. Breathe it in, breathe it out, slice those arms out while you hold. And then unwind. Pull yourself in and down over the thighs, a little egg posture. Scooch the toes in toward the tush if you're balanced on the floor. If you want to kick up and away and just hold in an egg or even in the chair, hold in an egg here. Find the freedom. Move the way you want to. Inhale. Exhale. Slice the arms out. Left leg over right. 
Find those balance points. Stretch that leg long if you're on the floor. Breathing in, breathing out. Tuck in, pull in first. Lift through the sternum. And then slice left arm under right. Folding up. And then eagle folds in on itself, trying to touch elbow to knee. But our little kitty cat, she's a definite reminder that a lot of what we do is reactionary. Why would a cat bite me that has never bitten me, but maybe two or three times unprovoked in this lifetime? Breathe in. Breathe out. Lift up, pull those knees up and in. Try to find that balanced folding position. Holding there. Well, she's just reacting. What is she reacting to? Oh, maybe she was reacting to my absence for two weeks. Maybe she's reacting to the fox outside that I couldn't see. Breathe in, breathe out, open, hold, breathe in, breathe out, unwind, egg of choice, either wrap up or fold down and in. And I know this last six month process, I've, I have done things and I have also experienced things with other people where there's a lot of reaction, scratching and clawing and wanting for normalcy. And when there isn't, it either gets worse or we've resigned ourselves and go, hmm, things have changed. Roll that body up. Take those legs out wide. If you're in a chair and you don't want to be in a chair anymore, Put yourself flat on the floor, legs extend out into a nice wide V. If you're in a chair, hands on knees. And then we're just gonna slowly slide the torso from side to side, get into that low back. Loosen up, glute med, QL, the attachments of the erector spinae down there at the bottom. Beautiful. And then let the arms lift and slide. Ah. And then the next time the right arm starts to slide, let it slide, let it slide, let it slide. See if you can keep the arms parallel. And then drop that hand either on the floor or on that thigh and reach. Now, if you can, you could have the hand on the floor of the thigh. You could go to the inside, take that right arm back, slide it behind the back, reach around for the right front pocket. And you're going, what? Oh yeah. So we're here, we reach, we slide. And I know some of you can actually stick your hand in that right front pocket. Bless you. <laughs> Breathing in, breathing out, release, slide up. Take that right arm underneath the left. You're still in a wide V, wrap up in those Garudasana arms, pull those elbows down into the belly button. Nice bend in the spine, let the head be heavy. Next time you find a full breath, slide up, slice arms out, and then start to move again. The body knows, the brain goes, yep, Carolyn, we've been here, we've been here, we've been here, we're going left this time, absolutely. Notice the micro adjustments that it might be making towards something habitual that actually pulls you off balance. Stretch, 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 stretch arms. So see, I start to pull these ribs in so that my back can take the exercise for me. So I have to roll that shoulder back. And then wherever you're going to plant, reach. You could reach for the toe. You could reach for the floor. Now the floor and the leg are going to give you that leverage to open both sides of the body and continue the reach. Arm drapes across the back. 
So we're here, drapes across, right arm reaches for the left front pocket. So we're opening the side body and we're opening the chest because when we're pushed in life, we have things that we do, we have reactions. A lot of it, we close in. So we're opening, we're holding in the breath, we're using that bottom arm to really get that heart space to come forward. Inhale, exhale, release. Left arm under right this time, and then elbows down into the center, rounding that back. And then stretch those arms out real big and wide. <sighs> Gorgeous. If you're in a chair, walk your legs together. If you're not in a chair, keep your legs wide. We're gonna have that right hand come down and then we're gonna open and slide. So if you're in a wide V on the floor, just keep those legs in a wide V. Reach that right arm forward and that left arm back. Otherwise, if you're in a chair, I've got the back of my arm on my kneecap. It's so sweet to see little tiny faces. Breathe it in. Yes, Hazel, that's you. <laughs> Lift up, big wide V here. Oh, yes, get ready, breathe it in. No scratching and clawing here. Slide, twist, reach. Free up those body spaces. And just notice, I mean, hey, life is nothing if it is not a bunch of patterns. Researchers know that. We lay one pattern down and then we either like it or we don't. So then we either repeat that pattern or we don't. Lift up, big wide V, bring it down, both hands in the center, legs go wide or they don't, forward fold. So if I like a pattern, I repeat it. If I liked the pattern a lot, I will almost force it to repeat. The problem is, is we don't get the same satisfaction out of it twice. But if we got marginal enough satisfaction out of it, we will continue a pattern over and over and over until we're not allowed to anymore. And then if something interrupts that pattern, guess what it causes? Fight, flight, or freeze. Breathe in, breathe out, roll it up. Oh. Bring the soles of the feet together. Baddha Konasana wings with the knees. Just hold for a moment. See what's being squoze out. Squoze should be a word. What's being smushed to the surface. Maybe there's a lot more contentment in there than we were aware. Breathing in, breathing out. All right, we're going on to belly space. So if you are in a chair, this is gonna be a little tough. So it's gonna be honor system, work on a little bit of yoga in your chair or you can stand up and grab the back of a chair so roll onto your belly if you're on a mat if you're not you're going to end up standing up and you're going to end up doing a lot of this stuff supported with the back of your chair all right so i'm going to pull this in belly space forehead chin or mouth on the mat we're going to work through the back side of the body Ah, all right. So chin, mouth, or forehead on the floor. You can prop the hands on the head on the hands if you want to. And then just slowly walk the legs up and away from the floor, one at a time, making sure that that pubic bone and those hips are pressed into the floor as well as you can. And it's just a little march with those legs. If you're leaning into the back of a chair, 
you've got a little bit of an incline and you're just reaching back of the leg, back of the leg, back of the leg. Lots of attention in the spine space. And then let the legs settle a moment. Let all the tension in the body settle out. Maybe turn the head to one side. Breathing in. Breathing out. Chin, mouth, or forehead on the floor. Or head on the back of the hands. Hands on the back of the chair if that's you. Leaning in. Right leg lifts up and away. Now, if you're on the floor, belly button rolled to the center, pubic bone pressed down, both hip bones pressing toward the floor. If we've got the little lift up and out, then we're trying to use the opposite side of the body to achieve the process. Breathing in, breathing out, and release. Let the body go slack. Notice if there's any kicking and biting and grr, gnashing of teeth in the body going on. Or whether we can circle in on the joy in the process. Big breath in. Chin, mouth, or forehead on the floor. Head on the back of the hands. Hands on the back of the chair. Left leg slides up. Making sure that the upper body is very square. Hips and shoulders headed in the same direction. Lots of attention. Mid spine, belly draws in. And just when the hold seems to be a little too much, breathe it in, breathe it out. Oh, go like a flat tire again. Inhaling. And exhaling. All right, those that are belly down, release hands out and up like bear claws, ankles, big toes touching. Those of us that are standing on our feet, same thing. Ankles come in close, arms out. We're going to take the backs of the hands and the back of the head up and away. So if you're laying on the floor, lift that torso. Half Shalabhasana, upper body. If we're standing, we're simply arching up and back. Squeeze those inner thighs in and together, all of us together. Engaging that spine, chin pulls into the hollow of the throat. One more big breath. And release. Let the body just settle in. For those on the floor, you're going to gather those inner thighs together, lift the lower legs, lift beyond kneecaps, just the legs rising off the floor. Those of us that are standing, arms are going to reach up again, heels are going to rise, and we're simply going to stand on the balls of our feet. So if you're on the floor, hip bones, pubic bone planted, toes pointed, or flare the toes even as you draw the inner thighs together. Everybody draws inner thighs together. Breathe in, breathe out, release. Find a full breath. And then if a full Shalabhasana, if a full locust is calling you, those of us that are standing, we're going to throw our wings back. We're going to bend over an, imaginable, an imaginary ball. I just tried to put imaginary and ball, imaginable ball. Reach up and back. Inner thighs, nice and close. If you're on the floor, you're balanced on that belly button and hip bones, upper body lifted, legs lifted, wings reaching. If you want to take this the next step and you're standing, lift the heels. 
Find the engagement in the belly and the inner thighs to hold there. Breathe in, breathe out, and then forward fold for those that are standing, either hands to thighs, shins, or floor, or back a chair. If you're on the floor, just rest. Another full breath. If you are on the floor, roll over onto your back. If you are standing, roll the body up. Maybe snug the tush into a door that swings in or into the wall. We're going to come up into wind relieving posture. So we're going to pull that right knee up and in, into the belly. If you're on your back, lift the head, pull the head into the knee. Even if you're standing, you can do the same thing. Breathing in, stretching down through the heel and the arch of the foot. Oh, I'm going around in a circle. Holding, breathing, and release. Tadasana, or just lay on your back. Release the jaw, a little space between top teeth and bottom teeth. It might be the last vestige of any stress that you're holding on to. Left leg starts to slide up and in. If shoulder blades are into the wall, make sure they're really snug there so that you have a lot of support. So that when you reach forward for that leg, you've really got to pull into core space. Inhaling, exhaling, keep holding. You can touch that knee, touch that knee, head rolls. Breathing. And then when you're ready to release, back into Tadasana, mountain posture. Big breath in. Big breath out. If you're up against a wall, slide arms out and up. If you're on the floor, arms reach out and up. Legs go wide. We're all going to turn into a giant X. Really plant the body into the wall or into the floor, just in the middle of the room. Reaching out from core space. Be the light. Radiate. You know, it's one thing to react. It's one thing to to, ah, oh, things aren't the way I want them. And we kind of explode. You know, it's like shrapnel, blah, we just, ugh. But it's another thing to control it. Oh, instead of being explosive, we're expansive. Breathe in, breathe out. Ah, oh, hands come into heart space. Find those prayer hands. Walk the feet in together. If you are laying on the floor, you are simply going to take the left hand to that right knee and pull into a spinal twist. If you're against a wall, you can do this. Otherwise, if you want to go back down into a chair, you can do that as well. We're going to find that spinal twist. But if you're full long on the floor, you want to have that real full spinal twist have that there. But if you're on a wall, that's it's a challenge space. It's kind of fun. We hold and we open. Fine, big breath. Now take that right knee, swing it open, left arm out to the side, Either grab onto the kneecap or grab onto the toe. If you're on the wall, you can have that real big Udita Astaha, Udita Hastasana B. 
Head can stay at neutral or it can turn. Breathing in, breathing out. Bend that leg in. Find a little supine tree, a little tree on your back. If you're in a chair, just put that foot on the inside of the ankle. Arms nice and wide. Breathing in, releasing out. And then find neutral, hands at prayer. When you're ready, opposite side. So that left knee slides up and in. We open, if you're in a chair, find that seated twist. If you're on the floor, really relax in. Find those last little pieces of pent up energy that just need a little, a little squeeze so that they can release. Big breath in. And then left hand grabs that knee, right arm opens up. If you wanna grab that toe, you could grab that toe. Really press into wall space or floor space. Inhaling. Ah, exhaling, drop that leg into supine tree, root into the floor or the wall or the chair. On your next breath out, release the body. If you're standing, make your way to the floor or a chair. in this interesting combined format that we're trying to do here. See if you can find a resting space. Going at this whole process with experimenter's mind. This isn't what I'm used to. Okay. <laughs> Life's been doing that a lot. And then congratulate yourself for going, this isn't what I'm used to. And hey, hey, I did something different today. Oh, I was open today. Start to deepen the breath. I'm going to go into a counted breath. I find that this is really useful when I can't sleep or, you know, most of you are parents. <laughs> you know what counting breath is like. I'm going to breathe in for a count of four and out for a count of four. So when you're ready, inhale for one, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. In breath, two, three, four. Out breath, two, three, four. In, two, three, four. Out, two, three, four. In, two, Three, four, out, two, three, four, extend to six, in, two, three, four, five, six, out, two, three, four, five, six, in, two, Three, four, five, six, out. Two, three, four, five, 
six, two more times in, two, three, four, five, six, out, two, three, four, five, six, one more in, two, three, four, five, six, and out, two, three, four, five, six. Easy breath in and out. And then just take a minute to be with yourself. And if this is a space that you want to stay in for a while, simply mute me and we'll disappear and you can just stay in your space. If not, maybe start to make little tiny movements, wiggling the fingers, moving the toes, shifting the jaw. Finding just those simple freedoms of being who you are as you make your way toward upright. Once you've moved into your position of choice, take a deep breath, pull the shoulders up, sigh it out, drop the shoulders. Two more times, breathe it in, lift it up. Exhale, drop. One more time, breathe it up and let it go. And we'll end as we always do a belly breath, a rib breath, and a collarbone breath And this episode of <sighs> Wildlife America will be over. Oh, prepare for that belly breath. Breathe it in. Expand. Oh. Mm, thank you for your brilliance, and your patience, your willingness to modify and adjust. I'm so grateful for you guys. Namaste. Oh, happy Tuesday. 
We'll be back tomorrow morning, hopefully with a little less cat drama. <laughs> oh, if anybody's got any words of wisdom, you'll have to unmute yourselves and